I'll be showing you step by step how you can hide your products in Shopify's search bar. This is going to be different from when a customer is Googling your products, they can still find that URL. But if they're searching for it in your Shopify store, you can very easily hide these from the search bar. This can be beneficial if maybe you're testing prices and you only want one of them to show up. So make sure you stay until the end of the video here. So the way we're gonna do this is go to our Shopify dashboard and then we're gonna add a specific meta tag definition and then we'll add this definition to the product we wanna hide from the search bar. So it's no longer gonna show up for anyone searching on your Shopify store. So this method doesn't require any apps or anything like that. It's also completely free. So once you're logged into your Shopify dashboard, you wanna go into your settings on the bottom left hand side. Once you open up settings, you want to scroll down to custom data and here we're entering a custom meta field. So once you're in custom data, you want to make sure you click on products. You can see there are four automatic definitions in here for this demo store. And so once you click here, the title of the page should be product meta field definitions. Next, you want to hit add definition. And so there are a few fields you want to fill out. I'm just going to call this hidden product. Now the customer isn't going to see this or anything. It's just for your own reference. So next under namespace and key, this one does matter. You want to put SEO dot hidden. Now it's going to tell me that the namespace is already taken because I've already entered in this definition but that shouldn't be the case for your store. Next the description as well will be something just for your own reference. I'm gonna write hide product. So once you've done that, you wanna select the type and you wanna make sure it's an integer. Now the integer rule also doesn't matter. You just wanna be consistent. So I'll just put one here as a minimum and the maximum value will also be one. So that's under validation. Now, once you've entered all that in, you just wanna hit save to save this definition. Something to note before I go forward as well is you also wanna make sure the storefronts and automated collections are also checked in the definition page. For go any further i want to thank our sponsor profit calc the one click profit calculator available for your shopify store it's going to give you real-time calculations so you can discover how profitable you actually are it's super easy to use all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for for example this is going to be the last seven days to get detailed analytics and profit calculations bringing in all metrics including your ad spend such as facebook google snapchat bing tiktok or pinterest which are going to sync seamlessly plus all your costs of goods sold, transaction fees, and much more. If you search Profit Calc in the Shopify App Store and look for this logo in the top left here, or there's gonna be a link in the description to access the app listing, both of which get you access to a 15-day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself, so make sure you check it out. So now that we've added our definitions, all we have to do now is go to the products we want hidden from the search field and add the definition to said product. So I'm gonna open up the product tabs in the left here, and I'm going to go to this hot melt glue gun as an example. What you then want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom and there's going to be a field saying meta field. Look like this here. And I'm just going to hit show all to show all the meta fields available. Now that you've opened up the meta definition, all you want to do is put in that value defined for the integer. I put one for mine, so I'm just going to hit one there. Then once you hit save, this should now ensure this product is hidden in your Shopify search bar. Now, if it's not showing up, you might want to clear your cache or test things out in an incognito browser to see if everything's working okay. Now, I already did so for this framed canvas product. So as you can see, it is active in my Shopify store here. If I go to the storefront, I go to the search bar and I search for framed canvas. It's going to give me a suggestion here, but nothing is going to show up because I've hidden it from the Shopify search search result. So in a nutshell, that's how you hide products from your Shopify search bar. Overall, it is a super useful function, especially if you're testing multiple prices or there is something like an exclusive deal you don't want available in the search bar, but you want available in your store. Before I go, I want to mention Profit Calc one more time, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. There's a link in the description below. If you also search Profit Calc in the Shopify App Store and look for this logo in the top left, you can find it there as well. You can then access a 15-day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.